What goes up must come down. Probably the first person to know that this isn't always true was Isaac Newton. If we give a projectile enough mechanical energy, it can go very far and still have some kinetic energy left over. <laughs> Let's do the calculation. Initial separation is one Earth radius. Final separation is very large. In space, there's no air resistance or friction. So let's neglect those losses and mechanical energy is conserved. Suppose we give our spacecraft with mass m just enough kinetic energy so that it has zero mechanical energy overall. Initially, the large positive kinetic energy exactly cancels the negative potential energy. Finally, it will have tiny kinetic energy a long, long way away. Call this initial speed the escape speed and use the mass of the Earth and the Earth's radius in the initial potential energy. So, how fast is escape speed? <laughs> Good question for you. <laughs>